haven't done that since the last time I streamed anything, so we're going to do this again. Um, this is BeamNG, uh, a driving game you've probably seen videos of. It was popular uh, for like little crash videos some time ago. At any rate, it's also got uh, a plug-in f so you can export cars from Automation, the car company tycoon game, and drive them around this track, uh, which is also featured in the aforementioned Automation. So the Bay 12 Games Forum, the Door Fortress Forums, uh, is doing they're doing a Let's Play right now of Automation, and this is their current model, the Baron, a 1955 or 1960, let's uh, say an old sedan with a big V8 and all kinds of awful, uh, awful handling characteristics. So, let me get this set up real quick. I'm going to do a couple of hot laps and see if I can beat the computer's time, which was three minutes and one second around this uh, longish track. Time trials, Baron Sedan. Let's see. Select layout. There we go. All right, so we're going to take one lap first to explore the car and the track a little bit, and we'll hopefully get a set of good one. On the previous unsaved screen, I, uh, I hit a time of 2.55, so we'll see if I can beat that. And get into the nice in-car view and get my chair in the right place. Move my Twitch stuff around. Okay. So we'll keep it nice and easy on the throttle off the line for uh, limiting wheel spin. Try to full throttle. You can take this first chicane at about 35 or 40 miles an hour. You hit both those, uh, hit both those curbs. I almost lost it there. So the Baron is a very, uh, it's got a very comfortable suspension, which is to say that it rolls an awful lot. So if you, uh, if you if your steering inputs are too fast, then you'll rock one way, then rock the other. And then on the outside, you'll break the outside wheels loose. A little lift to that corner uh, on the brakes pretty hard here. You can get on the brakes fairly... Whoop, not quite. Lost it a little bit. You can get on the brakes fairly hard when you're below about 40 miles an hour, but above that, uh, because the brake force is biased toward the rear, or at least more than it, uh, more than it could be, uh, hard braking tends to, uh, to, to break the rear end loose and then get the car into a good spin. Which is fun because it understeers like crazy the rest of the time. So up to full speed here down this uh, down this back stretch. Up ahead is the slingshot, a hundred and ten mile an hour corner or so. It takes a little bit of bravery in a car that uh, rolls like this, but that's what we're here for. Ooh, just up into the most difficult braking zone on the track, because you're coming from such high speed. You can't lock up the rear, you're going straight for the wall. Uh, you can't really turn and brake at the same time because of the... Uh, oops, took that a little bit wide. You can't turn and brake in this car because of the uh, the like the kind of competing problems. You know, it wants to understeer if you're turning, it wants to oversteer if you're uh, braking. You can stop at about the 100, y 100 uh, meter mark, probably. I guess it's a European game, down to about 20 miles an hour for this chicane, 25 I guess. You want to make sure you get a good exit so you can coax the transmission to shift up for this next set, like this big left-handed sweeper. Got to be very careful in this braking zone to keep the car from uh, from spinning. And you're trying to change direction left to right and change direction fore and aft at the same time as you're switching from a left-hander to right-hander and going from hard acceleration to hard braking. Into the Cossack corner here, uh, a pale left-hander. We want to take about 50 miles an hour into that, maybe 55. You can kind of feel in the force feedback the tires uh, sliding, you know, jumping across the track to the side, sideways. And about, I always break a little bit late for this, but it's a nice wide corner so I've got room. I might actually beat the three minute and one second time on this first lap too, we'll see. Actually, that's a personal best. Whoop. So we'll uh, reset the car and try one uh, at maximum speed with very little talking, so I can focus entirely on the driving.
much cleaner this time on that corner. A good exit's not super important out of uh, out of that last turn because the car gets up to top speed re regardless of how you take it. Just about that's about 113 miles an hour around uh, around the slingshot here. Lost it, lost it. Alright, oh, that's so much for that laugh. We'll finish this out and uh, take a running start on the next one, see if I can't uh, put in a better time. I think that's about the line I need to take out of the uh, out of that corner generally. It's very important to keep the transmission in uh, the low ratio uh, in that exit, otherwise you lose a lot of speed coming up to this corner. Adam's apex, I believe the sign called it. Oh, way wide. Feel that understeer. And that's the line there, too. All right, lap with a rolling start now. Let's see what we can do with it. Oh, not very much. All right, let's restart this and see if we can't get one good one in. That was a good exit there. Anything above 60 come out of that corner, I feel good about it. Can't hit that epic, there we go. And still look at a little bit a little bit wide. Yeah, 59 seconds, not a bad, uh, not a bad first sector. modulate the brakes so carefully there. Take a slightly tighter line through so I can get on the throttle earlier. There we go. That felt good. At least the second half of it did. So I can flatten this exit out a little bit more. That's pretty good. Mm, 
Ooh, too much speed. The nose of the car is so purple, when I look up I see a green after image. I got a little bit more speed to can take into this. Ooh. I like that line better, I think. Oh, good traction through there, good exit. Is it gonna be enough? 53, 54, 255.001. That is again a personal best. So let's find some infield here and do a couple of celebratory donuts. Not bad, Bay 12 Motors Baron. Not bad. <laughs> 